Hello everyone, myself Nishita, Assistant Professor, Department of CSID, working at MLR Institute of Technology. In previous session, we have seen about disk scheduling algorithms. Uh, first one is first come first so and second one is shortest seek time first. So in this session, we are going to see about scan and C scans. Scan is nothing but it is an elevator algorithm and C scan is nothing but circular algorithm. So let us start our scan and C scan disk scheduling algorithms. So overview of this presentation is nothing but we are going to see with an example problem of scan and C scan. Scan is nothing but it is also known as elevator algorithm whereas C scan is nothing but circular elevator. Nothing but C scan. So let us start with scan. In the scan algorithm, the disk arm moves in a particular direction and services the requesters coming in its path. So the scan algorithm, the disk arm moves in a particular direction and services the requesters in its path. So whatever the directions which are play, which are taken by this disk arm that are serviced according to the coming requesters by its own path. After reaching the end of the disk, it reverses its direction and again services the requesters arriving in its path. So, once the requesters are coming according to its path and after reaching to the end of the disk, so whatever the disk is placed on the disk arm, after reaching the end of the disk and it gets reversed to the direction again. Why? Because the services requesters are arriving in its path. Why? Because the services is taking only on its path. Why? Because no other can be done. Why? Because in reverse also it is taking its own path. In straight forward direction also it taking its own path. So this algorithm works as an elevator and hence it is known as elevator algorithm. So it is nothing but a, it is performing like an elevator. So we are, we are, calling, uh, we are calling it as elevator algorithm. As a, re as a result, the requesters at the mid-range are serviced more and those arriving behind the disk arm will have to wait. So, whatever the requesters from the middle value, mid-range and are serviced more, the services which are given by the disk arm are very more and those arriving behind the disk arm will have to wait. Once the result have been placed according to the mid-range, that should be serviced more. Why? Because the disk arm is arriving uh, to the end of the value. Why? Because it is performing like an elevator. So, until and unless the disk is arriving behind, the disk arm should be wait. So, let us see scan algorithm. So, start our problem. Same example problem with our scan elevator algorithm. So, it takes larger value. So, 0 to 199. So, head is 50. Then 43. Then 24. Then 16. And next one is 50 after 82. 140. And then. 170 and then 190. Score scan. In this scan, so in this scan, we are taking the values on the disk arm. So these are the disk placed according to the given example problem values. So we need to move the disk into higher value, so larger value. So uh, as I said, it is performing like an elevator. So, what is our largest value here? 190. So, 190. So, it uh, directly moves to the larger value. Means, in our disk arm, we are placing until 199. So, our elevator or our disk arm moves directly to the larger value. Why? Because it is performing like an elevator. So, it takes the larger value first and it moves towards larger value. After 199, which is our next value is 190. And next is 170. And next is 140. 
and next is 82 and it is going towards the shortest value so next is 43 and next is 24 and next is 60 so this is what moving towards larger value towards larger value and acts as an elevator it is acting like an elevator so now we need to calculate the total overhead movement what is our total overhead movement here it's nothing but we are taking directly 199 minus 50 plus 199 minus 60 so directly one position directly 50 to the larger value and 199 to the smaller value so 199 minus 50 plus 199 minus 60 so the elevator value is overhead movement is 332 this is the total overhead of this scan algorithm nothing but elevator algorithm so in this we are taking larger of uh, larger values and first of all in this larger value is 190 but our algorithm is performing like an elevator so we are directly moving to the last disk arm position that is what 199 position and we are taking to the larger values first so this is what how we are going to place on each one by one by performing scan disk scheduling algorithm so what are the advantages of scan and disadvantages of this scan algorithm so advantages of this scan algorithm means high throughput it is having some high performance on throughput and low variance of response time why because taking the larger values we are getting very less response time compared to other fcfs sstf and scan so this uh, this we are getting very low variance of response time and average response time we need to check the average response time so these are the three advantages performed by scan so what are the disadvantages of this scan algorithm long waiting time for requests for locations just visited by disk so why because long why be why long time why because we are taking very large values on the disk arm which is which disk should be placed according to the longer values so until and unless the request is completes its uh, completing its position on its own location then only the disk arm should move for the next disk to place why because it is having long waiting time this is one of the disadvantages of the scan disk scheduling algorithm next one is circular scan c scan in the scan algorithm the disk arm again scans the path that has been scanned after reversing its direction so in this the circular scan it's nothing but scan the disk arm again scans the path that has been scanned after it reversing its direction so means uh, opposite to scan is uh, reverse scan so it may be po possible that too many requests are waiting to the other then other end so some requests are waiting in the other end or there may be zero or few requests pending at the scanned area so it may be having some pending area why because others are waiting to the other end these situations are avoided in the c scan algorithm so these situations are avoiding for the c scan algorithm in which the disk arm instead of reversing its direction goes to the other end of the disk and starts servicing the requesters from there so here the situations are avoided by the c scan algorithm and which can be placed by the disk arm instead of reversing its direction and goes to other end so uh, to perform the reverse order of the scan we are performing other by doing its reverse direction and to the other end of the disk and it starts servicing the requesters from there so it starts there from there the requesters are get started so the disk arm moves in a circular fashion so by so this is what how we are going to perform by circular scan see scan 
so it performs in a circular format and this algorithm is also similar to scan algorithm so it is nothing but similar to scan algorithm hence hence it is called as c scan nothing but circular scan So let us see the example problem here also it directly moves to the larger value. So say so take our discount. So 0 to 199. Head is 50, 43, 24 and 16. And next is 82, then 140, then 170 and then 190. So it is what circular scan. So it is taking 50 towards moving its direction 190, 170, 140, 182. And again moving to short value 16. And it is taking circular direction. So 16, next 24, and next 40. This is what C scan. So, total overhead moment. It's nothing but 199 minus 50 plus 199 minus 0. But because it is moving until to 0, low value here. 199 minus 0 plus 43 minus 0. So, from here to we are placing it here. So, 43 minus 0. So, the value is 391. So, total overhead movement of this uh, scan, C scan algorithm is 391. So, in this algorithm, we are moving towards the largest value that is 199. According to that, each values are uh, each disk values are placed according to their disk location and the it is performing, performing like circular scan. Why? Because until here it is going to 0 and the position is downwards and it is taking against your 43, then 24, then 16. So, this is what how you are going to calculate the C scan algorithm. So, direct next 199 minus 50, again 199 minus 0, again then 43 minus 0. This is what how we are going to calculate total overhead movement. So, the total overhead movement of this C scan algorithm is 391. So, one of the disadvantages of this C scan algorithm is it provides more uniform wait time and compared to scan algorithm. So, it is providing more uniform waiting time compared to scan algorithm. This is one of the advantages of this C scan algorithm. So, in this session, we have seen about scan algorithm and C scan algorithm. Scan algorithm is nothing but elevator algorithm. It is performing like elevator. So, we, we are calling, calling it as elevator algorithm. Whereas, C scan is similar to scan algorithm and it is also known as circular scan. So, these are the two algorithms we have discussed in this session. If you have any doubts, you can comment in comment box. Thank you.